Hello ladies and gents, Eric here with Master Tool Repair. Um, I have a video to show you on how to diagnose a power tool uh, and test for continuity. Uh, just a general diagnostic, um, testing for electrical continuity, so it's an electrical diagnostic, uh, kind of a troubleshoot guide for you here. We have a DeWalt circular saw with electric brake and our multimeter, which you'll need. As you can see, zooming in on the multimeter, it's a digital multimeter. And you can use analog, which has a little arm goes back and forth either way, but you want to set it to the audible setting. As you see right here, little note, it's on ohms and an audible setting, and that's especially helpful for video as it'll give you a beep when we perform each test. And I'm gonna zoom in over here on the tool so you can see the handle assembly taken off. We're gonna test for continuity first, a general continuity test throughout the tool. So from the cord through the switch to the motor, brushes and back to the cords, so make sure we get a good circuit there. And this particular cord, as you can see, not uh, not safe. Ideally, we would replace this anyway, which, even if it wasn't defective, that's an OSHA requirement. They have a good power cord there, so this is shredded, obviously, but uh, this happens to be defective or intermittent as well, so it'll work sometimes and it won't others. Did a test on this earlier, and it happens to be intermittent. So grab our star bit here and our drill. This is a T20 star bit, which a lot of the tools use. And take, the, take the cord clamp off already. All right, it makes it easier to get to. Okay, so we're going to take the leads from the multimeter and we're going to put one of the leads on the right. The right is your black and the left is gonna be the white. So the white's usually the larger hole in the in the outlet. So it's going to be white is neutral. It's usually again the larger of the slots in the outlet as well. All right, so when we hook each terminal up to each lead uh, or plug, when you pull the trigger, you should hear it'll close the circuit and you'll hear an audible tone. In this case, beautiful, we do. A real high pitched tone and it's now closed. Now this isn't a typical switch, not a two-pull, two-throw switch. It has an electric brake, so sometimes it can be a little difficult to test, or you, know, you won't test like a normal two-pull, two-throw switch. But uh, in this case, for just for continuity throughout the tool, it's uh, we do. Now let's rest that there. I'm going to perform the same test, yet I'm going to show you why this particular cord is intermittent. So it'll work sometimes and it won't other times. There we go. Pull the trigger. Good to go. Let's wiggle the cord about. Look at that. So the cord is intermittent. There's a short. So not only is it shredded pieces and showing bare wire, which can uh, give you a little jolt. This happened to me before, not fun. Uh, but it's also defective and intermittent. So there we are. And we're gonna perform another test here. That was a continuity test. We're also going to take the little wire nut off of the white neutral in the cord and from the field wire, just unscrew it. This will just test the cord itself the, for uh, make sure it's not defective or test whether it is defective or not. All right. So we're gonna take one of the uh, leads on the multimeter, put it all the way through, through both of the uh, plugs. Uh, there we go. And we're going to touch the other to the wires on the cord. All right, so that appears to be good. Oh, but of course, when we wiggle the cord and bend it, look at that, the circuit's open again. So, that is shorted, so it's probably the neutral or white. Now when we hook it up, or touch it to the black wire, we're in good shape. So it's the white neutral that's defective. So that's how you test for a power cord. You know, hook up one terminal to each wire and make sure you're touching both the plugs, you know, terminals on the plug. So excellent. So we know now that the cord is defective. And if you were to test the switch, you could test the switch this way. And again, a little different with the electric brake switch, but to test for just for continuity, 
on the switch uh, just for open and close. Attach one terminal. Uh, this has a claw on it, so it's a little finicky, but one terminal to each of the top screws on the switch. And we're going to pull the trigger. There we go. So open circuit, closed circuit. That works beautifully. So we know that the switch is okay because we did a, a continuity test throughout the tool and does current does flow. And we did an open and close test on the switch. Now to, to test the brake function on the switch, when you install the new cord, all you have to do is simply turn it on. If the brake engages, it's good, obviously. So that'll just be a good old empirical test. So that is how you test for continuity and a, a power tool for a typical um, and a typical power cord and switch. Uh, if you have any more questions, you can feel free to visit our forums or send us an email. We'd be glad to elaborate. But I hope that was somewhat informational and helpful. See you next time.